February 18th, Saint Bernadette Sibiru. Saint Bernadette was born at Lourdes in the Pyrenees Mountains in the year 1844. This young girl, fragile of health, born of a very poor but pious family, at 14 years of age witnessed 18 apparitions of Our Blessed Lady at Lourdes from February 11, 1858 to July 16 of the same year. She was instructed to make known the healing powers which the Blessed Virgin, by her presence, would give to the miraculous spring of Lourdes. A worker who had lost an eye in an explosion recovered his sight when he washed his face in this water. A dying girl was plunged into the small basin which had formed around the spring and the next day began to walk. The police attempted to stop the crowds from going to the grotto for the foretold apparitions, but were unable to do so. On March 25th, the beautiful lady identified herself in response to Bernadette's request. I am the Immaculate Conception, she said. Bernadette was accused of having hallucinations, of spells of mental illness, of lying, but her great simplicity eventually made evident her innocence and entire sanity. Through the benevolent understanding and collaboration of the local bishop, Bishop Lawrence, who later authorized the veneration of Our Lady of Lourdes, a chapel, then a beautiful basilica were raised above the grotto of the apparitions on the banks of the Gave River, now a world-famous pilgrimage site. In the year 1866, St. Bernadette joined the Sisters of Charity, taking her perpetual vows in the year 1878. She died in the year 1879 at the age of 36, after long and painful sufferings which she bore very willingly, even with joy. When one of the mothers said to her, We will pray that God may relieve your pain, she answered, No, don't pray for the relief for me, only for patience. The last words she wrote in her little spiritual notebooks were, The more I am crucified, the more I rejoice. She was beatified by Pope Pius XI in 1925 and canonized by him in 1933.